student debt loans are increasing and nearing $1.1 trillion, according to the New York Fed. Housing ex experts say these debt and loans are keeping first-time home buyers out of the market. Rosa Kazan reports. Mark Kirkendall is 29. Last year, he moved to Chicago with his wife, Jessica, to complete a master's program in journalism. It was a choice between that and buying a house. It was a tough decision to make. Because Mark knows they cannot afford both. <laughs> with over $50,000 in student loans and a dream of finally settling down once he graduates, he's spinning his hopes on landing a job that'll allow him to pay his debt and buy a home. Hopefully, you know, we get fairly well-paying jobs and uh, extra education was worth it. It's the challenge more and more young Americans face. How to afford buying their first home while also paying off the money they borrowed to go to school. Millennials, you know, those who are about 19 to 29, have a trillion dollars in, in student loan debt now. John Nodurft of Heartland Institute says millennials also face around 14 percent unemployment nearly double the U.S. national average. Because of the unemployment rates um, and the amount of debt that they have, uh, they're delaying either marriage and then by, you know, kind of settling down and buying a house. Experts say the double whammy of high unemployment and student loan debt is already hitting the housing market. The National Association of Realtors says for the last six months, fewer than 30 percent of all home sales were to first-time buyers. That is a historic low. The share of first-time buyers usually stands between 40 and 45 percent. With the average student debt owed by a new graduate with bachelor's degree at around $29,000, student enrollment is dropping. Last year, more than 300,000 fewer students enrolled in U.S. colleges from the year before, a 1.5 percent drop. Enrollments in more expensive private universities fell nearly 10 percent. Not Durf really not says high schoolers should think twice I mean, I, I before getting a student loan. We need to uh, let students and parents know that, um, you know, taking on $40,000 in debt might not be the best choice for your, for your child. Yeah. Mark hopes his bet will pay off. Mostly it comes down to what yeah. jobs we get, yeah. I mean, if we get something where we can't afford a home, then we can't afford a home. While Mark hopes higher education will get him a better job, the data suggests that's a gamble few Americans appear willing to make. Rosa Kazan, CCTV, Chicago.